So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video on the channel now. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how you can use paid traffic to sign high ticket e-commerce SMMA clients. I'm gonna be showing you everything from the best practices at the ad level, at the funnel level, in terms of how you can do your opt-in, how you can structure your case study or video sales letter slash VSL, and also all the way through to the email marketing in the back end and how really you can get the most juice out of your squeeze for every single paid lead that you generate. How can you make the most off of them? I'm gonna be covering all of that in this video. Now, as always, just before we jump into it, make sure you go ahead, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. It massively helps out with the YouTube algorithm and you will not regret it for this video. It's gonna be seriously, seriously valuable. And as I say, I'm really just gonna be laying everything out on the table. And really majority of the concepts that I cover in my higher level program, I'm actually gonna be showing you those exact concepts from a very 30,000 foot view. So with that being said, let's jump straight into the video. So essentially what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be building out a funnel, right? Because we need to take somebody through a funnel in order to sell them. You can't just sell a completely cold prospect by you know just saying why they should hop on a call with you in a Facebook ad and then they just magically book in a call. Can't do that, you gotta actually sell them. So we need to build out a funnel to do that. Essentially what the funnel is called, the best funnel to do this for is called a VSL funnel. VSL stands for video, sales letter. Apologies in advance for my terrible handwriting. Okay, video sales letter, that's the funnel that we're gonna be using. That funnel looks very much like this. Now you may have seen um, other people lay out this same type of funnel, but you guys know we go above and beyond with the value on this channel, so I'll be going a lot more in depth than most people would cover for free. So these five steps to the funnel. We've got a Facebook ad, we've got opt-in, so the Facebook ad, we send that traffic to an opt-in page, which is where they give the email and name and whatnot, and we'll get onto that here in a minute as well. Then that opt-in goes to the VSL itself, which again, we're gonna cover here in a minute. That VSL then sends the traffic to a scheduler. Made these boxes a bit too small, but that then sends the traffic to a scheduler. Scheduler to a success page, right? So each section, that looks quite, you know, um, basic and simplistic, but it's, it goes a lot deeper, right? So at the Facebook ad level, this is where you need to make sure that your ads resonate with you know who you're showing it to, right? It has to resonate. If it doesn't resonate, you're, you, you know, nobody will be interested and really you won't get any good results down at this point where you want them to obviously book in a call and, and you know, successfully book in a call. At that point, you can hop on the call and do your sales process, right? You, you know, it all starts at the Facebook ad level, okay? So the main thing, right, at the cop for the copy of the ad has to be long form. Right, long form, and it has to strike a nerve. It has to evoke motivation in you know who you're who you're running the ad to. If it doesn't strike a nerve, if it doesn't motivate them, they just won't take the next step. Okay, and it has to be unique. Okay, because again, if it's the same as every other agency's ad out there, people will just blend you in with those other agencies, and they just won't take action again, okay? They just, they'll just be like, oh, it's just another one of those, you know, guru type ads, they can make me a load of money and whatever. They're so accustomed to those types of ads, you need to break that pattern, that's how you get that amazing CTR, that amazing cost per lead and whatnot, all stems from the Facebook ad. Now, in terms of creative, again, it has to be unique, but more importantly, it has to be eye-catching, okay? And two, Great people to look at for this is Alex Becker, right, it says Becker, and Sabri, I believe this is how you say his name, Sabri Subi, okay, these people do it amazing, amazingly well, and once you look at their ads, you'll see exactly what I mean by this thing right here, which is eye-catching. It's just, it's just very, very different to how everybody else runs ads. Next, we've got the opt-in. So this is gonna be an opt-in page. Essentially, it's going to collect there, or the goal of it is to get people to opt in, right? And when they do opt in, they give you your, or their name and email address. And once they opt in, because you should have it integrated with some sort of email marketing software, I personally use Active Campaign. You can then obviously do email marketing. Now, email marketing is something that I also wanna cover here later on in this video, but opt in, this is where we collect that information. Now, the opt-in page um, percentage rate, so the amount of people that visit it and actually opt-in should be 20% or above, okay? So 
percent plus. That should be the that should be the range that you should be shooting for. Now, the way that you get that, okay, the way that you get this percentage right here is by making sure that this opt-in page essentially just further, you know, drives home the point that they need you, your agency, your services. They, it needs to, again, resonate with them and it needs to have a couple of things. The things that it must have is, number one, it must say what the case study is, right? It must say what the, v, the VSL slash case study actually is, okay? So, title, it must outline what covered and number three and this is what most people this third point here is what most people forget about okay it needs to show proof on their facebook ads you know in this section here when you're running the ads the creative you can't show proof right you don't want to be showing results you don't want to be showing a screen uh, a screenshot from the ads manager number one probably because it will get disapproved you know you can't promote facebook in you know your facebook ads but the other thing is that it's not gonna resonate with anyone. It's not going to, you know, it's not gonna be eye-catching, right? So you can't show results there. So the, as soon as you can start showing re, uh, results and proof and whatnot is this section and you need to do it, okay? You need to show proof. So once they've opted in, right, then they go to the VSL. Now the VSL is the most complex section of this entire funnel, okay? Most people would probably think the Facebook ads are most complex, but it's not. This section, the VSL, is the most complex and it's the most important to get right because if you don't get this bit right, even, you know, it doesn't matter how many people opt in, it doesn't matter how good this percentage is right here, if you've got a 100% opt-in rate, if this section, the VSL, doesn't convert, those people will just opt in and then they'll just bounce, right? They'll just opt in and they'll bounce. I would way rather this section here be far more um, effective than these two because even if I get, you know, if, even if my cost per lead is like $100, it doesn't matter because I know that they're gonna convert this section. So the way that we go about making this convert is by following a specific type of structure for the VSL, okay? So at this section, there is, you know, there's an entire there's an entire step-by-step uh, -step process and this is something that we cover in the higher level program, so I'm not gonna go too deep into it here, but from a 30,000 foot view, this is how it looks. Okay, so you wanna, number one, you want to intro the VSL. This, basically this intro the VSL is the same as this bit here. You literally just want to reinstate the title and just show and ensure that the, 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 the viewer okay, knows that they're in the right spot. It's not now something completely different, right? So you wanna make this, the intro to the VSL, it's just reinstating this title right here, okay? That, that's all it is. Then, you wanna show more proof. Showing proof is the singular most powerful thing because it shows that they, you know, it shows why they should be listening to you. It shows that what you're gonna be covering is not just some sort of airy-fairy ideas that you've pulled out of thin air. It's like hard, cold facts that actually works right now. The way that you do that is by showing proof and it just also ensures that they feel as though they're in good hands, right? They're, they feel as though they're comfortable um, and they're with an expert, okay? So you wanna show proof, that's, that's the second point. The more proof you can show, the better. Net, then from there, you wanna go through, you wanna do an intro of you, okay? Who you are, what you do. It's like through, you know, when we do email outreach, we say, my name is Kai Bax and I'm the owner slash founder of Bax Consulting. We do X, Y, and Z. That's basically what you wanna do here, okay? You wanna intro who you are. You wanna get them familiar with you. You can, you know, do a bit of jokes, get them comfortable and whatnot. So after you've introed who you are, what you do and whatnot, what your story is, tell them a little bit about your story as well. In this section, that's super, super powerful because that, you know, it's another section where you can basically resonate with them and connect with them on a deeper level. They don't just look at you as a, you know, a business owner or whatever, they actually look at you as a person and when they do, they, they, um, they kind of connect with you more, which can help conversion rates a lot. Once you have done that section. Then we move into the most important section of the entire VSL. And that is who this is for. So you wanna go through who the VSL is actually for. So this section is actually where you also further strike a nerve because you really call out the audience you highlight their pains and what they're going through and that's as i say that's going to strike a nerve and it's also going to hook them in because what you essentially the goal of this section is for them to be like oh my god this person understands me they know exactly what my problems are they know exactly what i'm going through right now you know and and it's going to just help them connect with you more as well because they'll be like how does he know all this or how does she know all this? It's because you need to understand your market, obviously. And this is why, you know, this is another reason why paid ads and running a funnel of this nature and pushing pay traffic through, you don't wanna be doing this when you're a beginner. It's way too, 
advanced. So even if you can understand it as a beginner, I'm not saying that, you know, if you're a beginner, it's too complex, you won't be able to understand it, because you probably will. But what I'm trying to get at here is that this section, you need to know who your target client is. The real, true, only way that you can fully figure that out is by being on a, you know, just hundreds of sales calls, routinely speaking with e-commerce brands, um, speaking with your clients, speaking with, you know, owners and, you know, just speaking with a bunch of people in that arena so then you truly know from experience, okay, I know that this is the most, you know, um, this is the biggest issue that they have or whatever it is, okay? So that's why, and that, well, that's another reason why you need to wait till you've got experience under your belt before you build something like this out because you actually need that experience to make it um, to make it as successful as possible, essentially. That's where this section comes from, okay? You, this is where um, all of that knowledge kind of gets poured into who this is for. As I said, this is probably one of the most important sections of the VSL because this is what's gonna keep them around to the very end. Okay, so that's, that's the uh, point kind of section number four of the VSL. From there, we go to section five, and this is where majority of the, you know, this doesn't look like it's gonna be long and really it probably doesn't take you that long, maybe 10, 15 minutes, depending on how much proof you've got. Um, maybe it got, you know, as I say, it'll take you maybe, you know, 10 minutes, whatever. Usually the VSLs that I build, that I build out for clients, you know, other agency owners actually come to me for me to build out their VSLs as well. Usually it's in the range of like 30 minutes to an hour. That's kind of the average range, maybe more of an average of around 45 minutes. That's because of this section. So this is now where you provide value, okay? This is where you really, really separate yourself from all the other, you know, internet gurus and whatnot, because look, we are in the e-commerce niche, okay? Um, so a lot of e-commerce brand owners are very susceptible to the internet, you know, marketing guru type people. They, they know who they are, they're used to them, they get hit with ads all the time. This is now where you can basically differentiate yourself, that you provide just hard value, okay? You're not holding anything back, okay? So that's kind of point, uh, or section number five. You provide value um, point number one, so value one. So suppose section six is value two. Um, seven, again, I suppose you can do it like that, is value three, okay? So this is really where majority of the um, VSL is. It's in these value points because that's just how you separate yourself. Put it this way, for the VSLs that I build out, I basically, you know, it's probably the, not the wrong mindset, but you know, this is how much value I try to give is that I want people to go through the VSL, whether it's for an agency owner or myself or, you know, an, uh, an info product client where they're providing, you know, maybe they've got a fitness product or whatever, it doesn't matter. I always want somebody to come through the VSL of this nature, a webinar of this nature, and leave, not even booking a call, literally leave and actually be able to implement on the value that we've provided. That's how much value I try and strive to um, implement into these VSLs, okay? So that's that section there. And as I mentioned, um, the t this kind of all ties in with the title. So the title, you know, it could be something like, my title for my personal VSL is how we generate our e-commerce and info product clients six figures per month after ad cost or after ad spend, right? That's my title. How do we generate our clients that? So in this section, that's where I show them how we generate our clients those results, okay? So it kind of ties in with the title. From there, you basically, and this is, this is uh, very common, um, but this is where you now wanna give them options, right? You wanna give your viewers options. So options, one, two, or three. So you can have basically, usually it's two, but you can have three. In my new VSL that I'm currently building now, I have three options. Essentially what this is, is that it's, you know, it's, it's basically give them options on what their next steps can be. And this is now where you start to pitch the call or the demo or the, um, you, know, if, you know, if you do this for an, e uh, an info product client, right? Uh, and it's basically, you know, a automated program. This is where you can now start to pitch the program, the course, the call, whatever it is. Basically here, you, you know, you say something along the lines of like, look, your first option 
is to take exactly what you've learned in this in this VSL, in this case study, whatever, um, and go ahead and implement it yourself. However, the problem with that is this, this, and this, right? And that's basically where you want to say like, it's going to take you a long time to be able to action, actually get good results with it. Um, you may lose a lot of money in the process. You may lose a lot of time because you've never done it before. So it's naturally going to take a lot of testing, which can result in time loss, money lost, etc. Or you give them the second option, which is basically where you can say something along the lines of, you know, come work with us, basically, right? You pitch your call, you pitch your program, whatever it is. In this case, I suppose with agency owners, it's gonna be pitching a sales call, demo call, whatever. Um, and so, as I say, that's where you wanna say something along the lines of like, or option number two is you can basically hop on a call with us. We can diagnose where you're currently at, where you wanna to get to. We can see if we can help bridge that gap. If we can, we can basically show you what we have to offer and you'll be able to get to where you wanna to get to in a lot quicker time frame than you would if you was to go with option one. Okay, so it, it kind of creates that. It's like, yeah, you can do option one, or you can save yourself time, save yourself money, um, and get to your goals a lot faster by option two. Now, the reason I say, you know, there's an option three, and I'm doing three options in my new uh, agency VSL, is simply because my option two, so option one's the same, they can go ahead and do it themselves. My option two is that they can go with another agency, and I list problems of that, what can happen there, and my option three, is exactly me pitching the call as I just mentioned. Okay, so again, number nine, you wanna reinstate, uh, where is it? Um, oh, right here, so you wanna reinstate point number four. Okay, so you wanna basically say again, this is four, and you go into say exactly who it's for. As I say, basically what you wanna do in this bit is just literally reiterate what you said at this section, because what that's gonna do again is that, you know, after they've been given their options, they're going to be like, again, this call is for those who are X, Y, Z. And if you know your audience and your uh, target client uh, well enough, it's going to, you know, really strike a nerve with them once again. And then and at that point, they're going to be like, okay, I have to book in a call. Like, I need to do it. Okay, so that's the goal there. And then number 10 is, again, you just want to finish off with proof results, etc. Okay, you just want to re-hone in, you want to basically say, look, again, this, these are some clients that we've got, um, these are the results that we're getting and all that type of stuff, okay? Um, now, obviously making sure that this proof section here, this proof section here, um, this proof section here, it's all different. You don't want to be, you know, just reusing the same stuff because that's actually going to take away. You're better off if you've only got a couple case studies to use, which again, you shouldn't, if you're at this point, you should have a lot of clients. You should be getting really good results, which is why you're at this point. You know, if you're just a beginner, then yeah, you may not have enough uh, case studies, but if you're just beginning, you shouldn't be doing this, right? But don't reuse any are the same results at any point because if they remember you're like oh he's already used that result there or he's already, i've already seen this if you do that it's actually going to take away from the effectiveness of it okay so that's a very thirty thousand foot view as i say this is something that i go through a lot more in detail in the higher level program but from a very thirty thousand foot view these are the sections of the vsl as i mentioned this is the most important part of the funnel if this section right if this entire section any point in here, if any section of this is broken, okay, maybe, you know, point number four, you didn't resonate with them enough. If that's broken, it just won't work as well. The entire funnel won't work as well. If um, these value points are like hollow, you know, it's just like, I don't even know an example, but if it's just not pure value, okay, it's just kind of like, yeah, you know, run ads for your, uh, for your e-com brand, showcase your products, and it, you know, you'll get amazing results. If it's just, it's just not real value, it's just fake, hollow value, the whole funnel will be broken, okay? So, as I say, this most important section. Now, if you get all of this right, okay, and you, and you really strike a nerve, you just do everything perfectly, that traffic will then get sent to a scheduler, okay, a scheduling page. Now, on the scheduling page, you want two things. So you want your scheduler, right? I use a uh, Calendly for my scheduler, because um, I was I used to use Acuity, but I'm just not too much of a fan of it anymore, at least for funnels. Um, I prefer the way that Calendly actually looks. It looks a lot more aesthetically pleasing. Um, so you want your actual scheduler, and then you want, um, you probably guessed it, more proof, okay, on the same page. So you want your scheduler, and you want more proof. That's it, that's all you want. You don't want anything else. You don't want no videos, you don't want nothing like that. Scheduler, 
proof. The reason we wanna put more proof on here is to reinstate into them, reinsure the client that they're making the right decision, okay? Because they may, this may be perfect, right? This section, your VSL may be killer, it may be so good, they click through to the scheduler, um, the, or the scheduling page, they may get a message on their phone, and you know it takes their mind off of this for like, five minutes, right? And then they look back on the scheduler, they kind of forgot that the main points in this section and then be like, oh, it's probably actually not that great. However, if you've got proof, you've got more results on the page, they'll be like, oh no, I definitely need this. Look at these results again. You know, and again, because they need to be different from these results that you've put all else uh, elsewhere, again, they're gonna be like, more results like that? Okay, I have to book in a call, okay? So then that shoots them straight back to the scheduler and that's how you get a really, really good um, conversion rate at this point. From here, now this is another super, super important aspect is once they've booked in a call successfully, you wanna take them to a success page. Just because you've booked in a call doesn't mean to say you're going to have a call with them, okay? Just because they're booked in a call doesn't mean to say you're gonna have the call because it's very easy for them to just simply not show. Like that's literally what can happen and it's a, it's a very, very big problem that a lot of info product uh, owners and whatnot experience. They just get no shows. So what you wanna do here is you wanna have a video. Another video, again guys, I really do apologize for my writing. So you wanna have another video, okay, which is basically, again, going through more results, going through, just really honing in, pounding into them that they have made the right decision to hop on a call with you. You know, you don't want to feel as though, um, you don't wanna feel as though they've made the wrong decision. You wanna hone in the fact that they have made the right decision, you wanna show them more results and you wanna get them excited. That's, you know, that's super, super important. This video needs to get them excited, okay? Get them, okay, get them excited because that's gonna massively decrease your no-show rate which will obviously help make this entire funnel, again, a lot more successful. If you get 10 calls, but you've got a 50% no-show rate, then you're gonna have only five calls, and that means you're only getting half the potential results that you could get. And again, you've gotta remember that at the top here, right, this is paid. We're running paid traffic now. This is, again, why you know beginners, you must just follow email outreach, and those are the methods that I speak about on this program. Also, second link in the description, it goes through a free training where I basically lay out exactly how to get, or how I got my very first seven e-com clients. So don't think that because you're a beginner um, and you shouldn't be implementing on this process that you can't get clients. You most definitely can. Everybody started out somewhere, okay? Um, but as I say, because we're, uh, uh, doing paid traffic, we're now paying to get these clients, paying to get these leads, you wanna make the most of it. So you wanna decrease those no-show rates, okay? So now we're gonna go through email marketing because that's another super, super important aspect to making the entire funnel as successful as possible, as I say. Um, before, now we're paying to get these leads to come through, we're paying to get these potential clients. We wanna be making sure we're getting as much out of them as possible. Email marketing, okay, is a really, really good way to, um, go about that, okay? So, right, email marketing, my amazing handwriting. So again, this is the funnel, entire funnel. Now, e for, for, for the email marketing, we're basically gonna have two lists, okay? Two lists, and as I said to you before, the way that we go about collating these lists is from the opt-in page, okay? So the opt-in page, we basically ask for the um, potential or, or the prospects, like let's say um, name and email, okay? They're, they're the two things that we wanna ask for the prospect, from the prospects to then for them to see the, to see the VSL, right? So we collect that, this then goes to, uh, like I said before, some sort of email marketing software like ActiveCampaign, you got Infusionsoft, you got a couple others as well. I personally like ActiveCampaign, that's what we use. I personally use it and all of my clients do as well. So the two lists, is basically um, everybody who's opted in to see the VSL. This is one list, okay? So basically who's opted in and come to this page, that's one list, right? And this is called um, just leads. The second list is everybody who's visited this page here. This is called, um, this is the second list, right? One list here. Um, and this is called um, you can call it demo, booked, um, you know, call, booked, whatever. That's the second list, okay? Demo, call, uh, demo book, call, booked, whatever it is. They're the two lists um, because basically you're gonna be sending different emails, okay? So for this leads list, this is everybody who hasn't got to this bit because if they've gotten to this bit, they've actually booked in a call, then they'd be in this list, okay? So that's how we separate it out. 
So what you'd wanna now do, email marketing comes into play because now you wanna basically run email campaigns, send emails, weekly emails, whatever it is, to this list right here, because that's gonna help us get a lot more, basically a lot more juice out of our squeeze, meaning everybody who's opted in, who you've paid to get into the funnel, um, you'll be able to try and make more from them because now you're hitting them. It's, you know, you're not just relying on the one VSL to get them to convert. Now, you know, six months down the line, you're still hitting them up with emails. You've still got multiple touch points with them, which can massively, massively help that conversion rate. And as, as I say, get more out of what you're actually paying for. Um, now this list, you might be thinking, why do we want to do some email marketing to this list if they've already booked on a call? Well, as I mentioned before, a really important thing that you must focus on when you're running a funnel like this is that you ensure that your uh, no-shows are as low as possible. That no-show uh, no percentage is as low as possible. That's super, super powerful, it's super important. So this is another area now. So as soon as they hit this list, you can basically take them through maybe one or two emails and you know you don't wanna make it too long because they may have their call like the next day. So if you've got a five day email sequence, they're gonna be getting calls, uh, they're gonna be getting emails for the call after they've had the call, if that makes sense. Okay, so you don't want that. However, what you do want is one or two emails, right? In the same day, you wanna try and ensure that it's before the call and again, get the uh, prospect excited. Okay, so that's the goal of those emails. It's just another touch point that you can have with them to get them excited. Once they're excited, they're not just not gonna show unless there's a valid reason. And as I say, that's gonna massively help um, your no-show rate. And again, you guys know, I'm not about providing uh, any hollow value. So some really, really good emails that you can do is a case study email. Okay, so this is where you can basically outline a client and something that I love to do is outline a client, um, basically their story, right? What they were like before they started working with you and your agency, what happened when they, and, you know, basically compare that then to what happened when they started working with your, uh, you and your agency and basically now where that client's at, what's kind of a non-negotiable for them each and every month. You know, for example, you could do, you know, um, this client, is uh, or was you know only making 50k a month they were kind of in that 50 to 60k a month rat race they just kind of didn't you know didn't have a predictable you know um stream of new customers coming in they had no machines or sales processes like that in place so really every month they were wondering am i going to make the same amount this month as i did last month they're just not in a good spot we came on board we did x y and z now a non-negotiable for them every month is around 150 to 200k a month build a story around that, okay? That's gonna do so well because that kind of where they were before, right? They used to be at this point, that may be exactly the position that, you know, a prospect who's opted in, that may be exactly where they, they're at right now, okay? So they're gonna resonate, they're gonna be like, oh, they were in my exact same position, okay, that must mean that they'll be able to help me as well. Again, it's just gonna get them more excited. Another really good one that you can do is um, some sort of case study, um, of a, you know a different type of brand uh, where they were maybe you know they actually weren't uh, utilizing online marketing as a whole okay however they started to and this was their growth stuff like that is always going to work really really well for this section now some really really good email marketing to do for this list okay this is the most important though I would say because this is going to be where you can basically get even more calls booked six months down the line from somebody who opted in six months ago, okay, as I mentioned. So this list of leads here, you wanna do ideally two emails per week. This is what I found is best because you're not spamming them, you're not like annoying them, that's one thing you don't wanna do. If you annoy somebody, they're never gonna buy from you no matter what, okay? So you don't wanna do that, but you also wanna make sure you've got a lot of touch points. There's a very fine line there. I found personally, two emails a week does really, really well. Um, a really good uh, um, email idea that you could do is, you know, something that's going on with your client right now. Maybe your client um, has just had a sale this week and you go through the results uh, sale this week, okay? And you uh, cover the results of that in an email. That's what you could do. Something else that you could do that's really, really good, again, is pro just provide more value. Guys, a lot of the time people think that if I over provide value, they'll just run off with it. but Trust me, if they, even if they do run off with the value that you provide, if they see results from that value, this is why I'm so big on providing actual value because if they see results from the, uh, the, the value that you provided, if they see results from that, 
they're gonna think, imagine what's gonna happen when I actually work with this person. It's so important that you provide real value. So again, just provide value. You could even do like, um, you know, something else that you could even do is like Loom videos, right? Everybody knows the, Loom, uh, the software Loom. Um, do Loom videos, obviously don't make it, you know, tailored to each lead, just do a broad one, going through something that yourself and your team have recently implemented um, for a client and it's done really, really well and you highly recommend everybody else to do it. That's another one, as I say, it's just pro about providing uh, pure value. So that is the exact paid client acquisition strategy via leveraging Facebook ads. That is the exact funnel that I am currently using. It's the exact funnel that all students use. And it's also the exact funnel that clients use as well for their certain types of high ticket uh, services. For example, you know, some agency owners um, and then some other clients in other areas where it's more of a phone call funnel, right? That's what we're doing here. It's like a sales call at the end of the, at the, end of the funnel and that's what we wanna get to. Um, so other businesses such as course businesses, um, which is like info products, etc., etc. When there's a phone call funnel, which is what we wanted to be using, that, what I've just laid out there with the email marketing as well, that is the exact step-by-step -step process that we implement. It's what I implement and it works extremely, extremely well. Now, obviously, Throughout this uh, video, I was talking about the fact that this is slightly more for those advanced agency owners who are already at, you know, 10K a month, 15K a month, ideally. Um, because once you're at that point, you can start to leverage this stuff. You can start to, uh, you know, pay to attract clients and whatnot. If you're not at that point just yet, I do not want this video to kind of take away from your motivation or anything like that, simply because you, you know, everybody starts somewhere. Um, and in order to get to that point, you want to be leveraging organic outbound prospecting, organic outbound, you know, uh, sorry, organic outreach, et cetera, et cetera. And look, put it in this, you know, put it this way. Don't feel as though that that stuff doesn't work as well. I am still doing outreach, right, for my agency. Albeit though we do have these types of funnels in place and we do run paid traffic and all that type of stuff, yes, we do do that, but we still leverage outreach because it just works. Like, it works. Once you've got proven methods, it simply works. I've literally got, I think, three sales calls this coming week, today, Saturday. Um, this coming week, I've got three sales calls all from um, outreach, right? So it still works amazingly well. That's why I still do it, even though last month my NT pulled in 50K, I'm still doing outreach because it simply works. You just need to be making sure that you're implementing on a proven outreach method. Now, if you're just a beginner or you're maybe at five, 6K a month, but you really wanna scale up, I'm really just triple down on a proven outreach method. I highly, highly recommend you go ahead and click the second link in the description. It's gonna take you to a 60 minute free training where I literally lay out my exact e-commerce client acquisition um, outreach strategy, right? I show you exactly how we structure things, the exact email sequences, what's said in each email, our exact funnel as well for organic outreach, etc., etc. I really just break everything down. And I also show you basically how you can almost guarantee yourself to scale to that 10K per month mark, that 15K per month mark. And the reason being is just because it works time and time again, it's proven. And that's why still at the point I'm at, despite this video, despite what we've gone through, yes, I've got obviously this stuff, these, this type of strategy structure it um, in my agency right now. Yes, I do. But despite that, I'm still doing that same outreach because it just works and there's no point neglecting it. So with that being said, I hope you did find value in this video. Please drop your comments below or thoughts below as a comment um, and I'll be sure to respond to you. And also make sure you go ahead, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Massively helps out the YouTube algorithm. And with that being said, as I previously mentioned, I hope you found value and I'll see you in the next video.